Hello, everyone. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whatever it is out there in listening land. I'm going to be interviewing a person that exists. Could you introduce yourself so that everyone knows how to relate to you in a humanly fashion? Sure. My name is Laura Caballero. Great. And I live in San Francisco. And how are we connected in any way? You are my daughter. Oh, that's great. Okay. Lovely. Uh What's your first memory of school? Hmm. Oh, no. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> oh, that's that's a good that's a good beginning to a story. Oh no. No. Um well I don't take your responsibility, right? Because I was in kindergarten, so it's not my fault. But <laughs> <laughs> so my first memory is a Halloween party in kindergarten. And we're supposed to come to kindergarten dressed up. And so uh, my mom, your grandma, uh, was a nurse. So I dressed up as a nurse. Adorable. Adorable. And, you know, I was pretty proud of it and, you know, walked into class, you know, put up my coat and getting ready for the festivities, really excited. And, you know, as I'm going to my desk, I'm getting a lot of stares and I'm, you know, thinking, oh, wow, my costume's really great. Um, unfortunately, that was not why they were staring at me. I dressed for the occasion one day too early. <laughs> so whatever the date, I, I got it wrong or my mom got it wrong. And, you know, that's, you know, that's kind of par for the course when you're uh, one of six girls being raised by a single mom who works more than 40 hours a week. (laughs) So I just remember feeling incredibly devastated (laughs) and like turning around and running back to my little cubby, you know, to I don't know, just disappear into the wall or something. Um, And uh, that's my biggest memory of my first memory of school. I'm sure the teachers were very nice, um, but I, I didn't go home or anything. I don't know what I did. I get, you know, I put my jacket on and they took my little nurse cap off. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, you know what? You won't be needing this. So just... <laughs> I don't know. Somehow I blended in the rest of the day, but I was mortified, of course. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Tragedy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's my first memory of school. What do you think about this whole uh, coronavirus situation? Well, I think my first thought is how incredibly lucky we are as a family to, you know, dad, you know, dad and I both have our jobs. We're teleworking. Um, and we have a roof over our head and we don't really know anybody um, in our family that's been um, seriously impacted by the by the uh, illness um i i feel sorry for you (laughs) because i know it's really hard to be you know locked in a little house with your parents (laughs) Um, and two dogs. <laughs> yes, perfect timing. Thank they you. They were very Chief upset Hawks. with me for not taking them on a walk after putting their collars on. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's, it's tragic. It's, uh, you know, I wish, you know, I wish we were better prepared and, um, didn't hit us so hard. I wish we could have had more testing and... Yeah. been more efficient than yeah so it's a literally any other country yeah it's frustrating to 
kind of see how far behind we are than yeah you know like uh, which country world yeah which which country has like the drive through like well Korea checks. was yeah on the news Korea had drive through shoot I think like in February yeah like they way before out, they were yeah, like we're done here you go <laughs> right at the beginning they had that which is so, impressive yeah so it really I don't know it love my country and all that but room for improvement <laughs> definitely <laughs> that taught us anything yeah, definitely well I wish we could have ended on a happier note but considering the dogs want to walk I gotta take my dogs on a walk woo that's a happy note yay <laughs> they're chihuahuas they're cute and small Aww, adorable my baby. Oh, there you go. That's happy. Okay, thank you for listening this long, <laughs> assuming that you have listened this long. Thank you. <laughs> good night, good morning, good afternoon. Thanks. So long. <laughs>